UC Tronics 3.5-inch SPI screen, driver installation. Why do you need to install the driver? It's called an SPI screen because the video signal is transmitted via the SPI interface, which is general purpose, instead of a dedicated video interface like the HDMI. Therefore, you can't see the desktop or use the touchscreen until you install the driver. How to install the driver? Since you can't see anything without installing the driver, you need extra devices that let you see what's going on inside your Pi. The simpler way is to attach another working screen to your Pi, and the fancier way is to use an SSH client on your computer, like Putty. We will use the simpler way in this video. Firstly, make sure you have a working micro SD card with a system installed and insert the micro SD card into the slot. Now we plug the power cable in and also the HDMI cable. If the SD card is working fine, it should boot up in about a minute and then take you to the desktop. If you see the desktop like this, you are ready to continue the following steps. Notice that if we unplug the HDMI connector and disconnect the video signal, you will only see a white on blue UC Tronics logo if you install our screen now. That's because we have not installed the driver yet. So we would plug the HDMI cable back in for a working screen and get ready to install the driver. If you have purchased the item in an intact package, you should be able to find an instruction manual in the box like this. On the second page, there is a section called driver installation. And in this video, we would follow the steps in this section. Now we open the terminal on the taskbar and then type in some commands. The first command is to copy the codes from GitHub to your Raspberry Pi. Please type in git clone https colon double slash github.com slash uctronics slash uctronics underscore hslcd 35 dot git. Then hit enter and wait while it's cloning from the git online. The second command to type is change mod hyphen r triple seven uc tronics underscore hslcd 35 hit enter then we need to enter the folder that contains the driver for your system if you are using the raspbian system you can just enter the raspbian folder like the instruction manual shows in this video we enter the uc tronics parent folder first in order to show you the supported operating systems Take the Raspbian for example, the last command to type is sudo dot slash uctronics underscore hslcd35 underscore show. Hit enter. And wait while it installs the driver. After the driver is installed, the system will reboot. And now your small SPI screen should start to work. Please note that although our 3.5 inch screen supports dual display, if your bigger monitor does not support displaying in the resolutions of the smaller SPI screen, you can't see it on the bigger one. Now you can touch the screen either with your finger or the included stylus pen. After you shut your Pi down, you can unplug the screen or the power cable to turn the screen off. Or you can also push the on-off button near the power connector to turn it off, but remember to turn it back on if you need to use it again. For more information and contacts, you can refer to the instruction manual. If you don't see the manual, let us know and we will send you a PDF version. 